we're trying to develop again trans transforming relationships and develop new models of how people can survive economically in the food system right now that is so controlled by corporate um, entities. With Las Margaritas, I think that that's a whole nother, you know, way to bring some dignity to the people that were impacted by an immigration raid. We were four people integrantes de Las Margaritas. De lo que sea, con tal de mantener a nuestros hijos, para que ellos no sufran de hambre. And they had lost their jobs and they couldn't get another job and they weren't allowed to work. Our question to them was, so look at this as an opportunity. As a woman, you know, as a mother, what's the one thing you've always wanted to do and you've never had a chance? And I was just, I mean, what, what have you got to lose? A couple of them actually really love to cook and they're excellent cooks. And we decided, well, get donations for the food and that way, you know, you can survive. You can actually make some money. We did it in a way that people would appreciate what they were doing. They were very public about it. Um, and it's created some very strong women leaders in our community that are very well recognized now as these courageous women, you know, that are not afraid. And the community has accepted them. In the end, it's all about how we relate to each other now. And so the way people have treated these women who in the Congress are being called illegal aliens and criminals because they are here undocumented, Everybody sees here as these mothers who need to be able to get along just like everybody else does and they're human and we've found a way to be community together. And that's what it's all about. So if there's a law that's unjust that's going to hurt these women, the real test is then what's our community going to do if that happens?